Hello Swedish people and hello to every single Allsvenskan fan from all around the world. Welcome back to HFE and welcome to the Allsvenskan title race prediction. 3-2-1 is the final countdown of Allsvenskan. Only three rounds left and still five teams who are mathematically able to win the championship. Amazing, it's going to be tense. Now today we're going to look at every single remaining game of these five teams. So altogether 15 games and predict the outcome with three criteria number one the position of the two teams who are playing against each other on the league table number two the last three head-to-head -head games of these two teams who are playing number three is going to concentrate on the very club we are analyzing at that time and namely looking at the last four league games mostly two home and two away let's get started we're gonna start with position five Hamarby. So Hamarby has won three out of their last four games and lost one away. Their first fixture is going to be against Degafors away. The head-to-head -head analysis of these two teams is quite unbalanced. While these last three games, two of them was long ago in Superettan, the second division of Sweden, and all three won by Hamarby. Last head-to-head -head game in July, 5-1, quite a decent result for Hamarby. Having a look at the standings, Hamarby is fifth, of course, because we started with the fifth of uh, Alsvenskan. And Degerfors is 14th, which means the relegation playoffs. Degerfors has also lost the last three of their league games, so I'm going to go for Hamarby, three points. Second game of the last three for Hamarby, so round 29, they play Hamsta away. Not so one-sided the head-to-head -head results. This time, while well, the last time they played before this year's Allsvenskan was in 2017. Back then, two away victories, one for Hamsta, one for Hammarby, and this season a draw. Well guys, this is going to be tough for Hammarby. Also, Hamsta beat Aiko recently at home. Well, against uh, Rebru they drew, which is uh, quite surprising. And nobody saw that win against Aiko coming. Yeah, but still, probably a draw this time, so one point for Hammarby. Especially because they lost 2-0 away against 12th place team Mjalby. Round 30, the last game is going to be the toughest for Hammarby because they play 6th place team Hjalmar. Of course, it's not even sure that the league table positions are going to be the same by the time because there are two rounds to go before then. But they play at home, this can be a point. Last three games, 2-1 this season for Hjalmar, 3-3 last season at home and an away victory last season as well for Hammarby. This is a really tough guess, guys. Hjalmar won 1-4 against Hecken recently and 1-0 against Norrköping, so they're kind of a good form. Seven points in their last three games. So uh, Hammarby playing at home. Well, uh, I still go for a draw. So guys, out of the last three rounds for Hammarby, I give five points to them. It wasn't even uh, much of a chance for them to win because they are eight points behind Malmö and there's three rounds to go, which means they can collect a total of nine points, but it's impossible that, that neither of the teams above them will collect at least that amount of point to be ahead of them at the end of the season. So they had, anyway, the least chance of winning. Yeah, five points for them. Okay, let's move on. Elfsborg of the town rose seven points out of their last four games. Away they lost and they won once and at home they drew once and they won once as well. First fixture round 28 for Elfsborg is against Hamsta away. Well in the head-to-head -head analysis I'm gonna take out the club friendly games as you see to be representative. This Allsvenskan season these two teams met again after four years. A win for Hamsta away which is quite surprising if you look at the current standings. Hamsta is definitely a tough opponent, although they are only 13th. Hamsta has not lost for long at home, so a draw, one point for Elfsborg. Next game, this is the most tense one, Elfsborg against Aiko, fourth against third. Well, technically I was wrong in the intro because I said we're gonna talk about 15 games. In fact, we're only talking about 14 games because the analysis of Aiko Elfsborg or Elfsborg Aiko is, uh, of course, we're not going to do it uh, twice differently. Last three meetings, two last season and one this season. This season, Aiko won at home, 1 0. A 2 2 draw and a 1 2 victory for Elfsborg last season. Guys, Aiko lost their last four away games. That's a massive negative streak. 
I go for Elfboy actually. So uh, I was thinking about the draw actually, but I think it's going to be kind of a surprise and the victory for Elfboy by one goal. So three points in this game for the home team. Round 30 here, the last game of the season for Elfboy is against 15th placed team Urebro. As you see, Elfboy won 1 2 away against Deger Fosch and lost 3 2 against Nordjöping. But Rebru is really in a bad form. They lost six out of their last seven games. So three points I give for Elfsborg. Maybe a victory by two goals. So one draw and two victories for Elfsborg in the last three games is my prediction. Let's move on to number three, Aiko. Oh, sorry guys for a moment. The head to analysis of Urebro Elfsborg. Yeah, last season a victory for Urebro and a draw. This season a victory for Elfsborg. Still, I think... Because of the bad form of Urebro, I don't change my original uh, vote. Yeah, three points. So finally, we move on to Aiko. One of the most famous Swedish teams, Aiko, located in Solna, a municipality of Stockholm. Game number one, round 28 for them. Varberg away. Varberg in position number nine on the league table of Allsvenskan. And Aiko. Well, it's quite clear the home and away analysis because they lost their last two away games and they won their last two home games. The defeat against Halmstad was a huge blow for Aiko fans. They probably feel that that was the point where the championship slipped. Anyway, Warberry in their last four games, they had three draws and a victory at home. And because of Aiko's away record, I think this might be a draw as well. The head-to-head -head analysis also shows us quite clearly that the last three games of these two teams were all the time Aiko won at home and a draw away. So I go for a draw here as well. Aiko game number two, round 29, against Elfsborg away. We just analyzed this game a few seconds or minutes ago. So I think it's an Elfsborg victory. The last game of the season for Aiko is finally at home. Against 11th placed Eco Sirius. Had to head analysis. Let's take out the club friendly game as well. And one was cancelled here. This season is an away victory for Aiko. Last season, an away draw and a home victory. I give the three points here for Aiko. So I'm very sorry to Aiko fans. I only gave you four points in the last three rounds. Well, it may differ in the reality. I hope so for you. We move on to number two, your Gordon, which is the third Stockholm team in this analysis, actually, because uh, big rivals, Aiko and Hammarby, were already analyzed. Your Gordon of Stockholm, nine points. Nine points, guys, in the last four games. And the 3 0 defeat against Yotubori was also a huge blow. I didn't expect that at all. In fact, I was there. So uh, if you're interested in the vlog I made there, uh, make sure to check out the link in the description. But except that, solid results. One goal victories. First opponent, Nordjöping away. The last three head-to-head -head games, Hugh Gordon won once and Nordjöping won twice. Last season, Nordjöping won both their meetings. They are seventh now. Hugh Gordon is uh, second. Well, but Nordjöping is really strong at home recently. They, uh, they beat actually quite big teams. Uh, but I still give a point for uh, your Gordon, although this uh, this last few rounds are quite unpredictable. But one point a draw. Game number two, round 29 for your Gordon at home against Warberg. Warberg is much stronger at home than away recently. And if you look at the last three head to head games, all of them won by your Gordon, your Gordon second, Warberg ninth. At home, I give the three points for your Gordon. The last round in this year's Ansvenskan for your Gordon is an away fixture against Biko Hecken of Hisingen, located in Göteborg. And well, let's hope they give a better performance than last time they visited Göteborg, which was a recent 3 0 defeat. Hecken victory, uh, lost at home against Kalmar, and drew against last placed team Östersund away. So uh, here I give the three points to, to your Gordon. I had to head analysis of these two teams which shows three victories, two in last season and one in this season for your Gordon. Makes my opinion even more clear. It's three points away for your Gordon. One draw, two victories for DAEF 
in the last three rounds. So seven points. We move on to the team which is most likely to win this year's Al-Svenskan, the first place team, Malmö. Malmö has the most points in terms of the last four games in this whole analysis, guys. They drew only once away and they won three times. So 10 points altogether of the last four games. And don't forget that at the same time they had Champions League as well. They are last place, so uh, not the best results there. But in Al-Svenskan, they kept their form together. Really important. Also remarkable that the only team in this whole analysis which has played three games away and only one at home. But guys, the one at home that was a potential championship decider because they won against Aiko 1-0. Look at this league table, guys. How exciting is this really? Only one point advantage before your Gordon and they go into their home game in round 28 like this with one point advantage. They play Birko Hecken at home. Hecken in position eight and last three games, two wins for Malmö and a draw. Malmö in excellent form in Allsvenskan recently and Hecken not in the best form, although they beat Degefors at home. But first, the head to head analysis, second, the league table, and also the last four results of Malmö give me a clear result of three points at home for Malmö in the first game. Second game for the very southern Swedish team, Malmö against Jalmar. And well, there are five places between the two teams. Had to hand analysis, I had to uh, erase here two games because they were two friendly games. But the last three competitive games, which were last season and this season, every single one won by Malmö. Last season, the away round was quite a comfortable one. It was a nil four. To be honest, I really can't see Jalmar getting a point, even though they play at home. Three points away for Malmö in round 29. And here we are at the very last game we analyzed today. Malmö against Hamsta. Malmö plays at home. Last three meetings two victories for Malmö and this season uh, draw away nil nil. But home ground full of fans because all the Malmö fans are filling the stadium all the time. Really sorry being boring here guys but three points for Malmö. Nine out of three games. So let's summarize Hammarby possibly in the fifth place with 51 points because I guess that Hjalmar is going to lose against Malmö and draw against Hammarby. So uh, even if they win against Rebru, it's only four points and I gave five points to Hammarby. So possibly the first five is going to stay. I guess that Elfsborg and Aiko is going to switch because if we look at my guesses, Elfsborg is in the third place with 56 points and Aiko only with 54 on the fourth place. Here Gordon, one draw, two wins plus seven points, which equals 60 points and the second place and the first place, the record champions of Sweden, Malmö. I know guys, I know this is the most popular guess right now, but I really think Malmö is going to win every single, every three of their last games, which would mean 63 points for them and the 22nd title of Allsvenskan. And of course, the Champions League qualifications. Listen, guys, we looked at the screen today, but football is not being played on the screen, except it's FIFA, of course. But now we were talking about the real world. Not on screen, not on paper, but on the pitch and with the psychology. So let me know your opinion. What do you think? How it is going to go? Is there a chance, perhaps, that Malmö is not going to win? Well, I'm interested about your opinion. Share with me in the comments. This was it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the analysis and I really hope that I can be back in Sweden soon because that one game I visited in your country was really a phenomenal experience. So join me for next time as well. And greetings to you from Hungary. Goodbye.